So by default, the sequence editor contains these seven toolbars with shortcuts to commonly used selections from a menu bar. The standard toolbar, the debug toolbar, the environment toolbar, then is the navigation toolbar. Then we have uh, a sequence hierarchy toolbar, sequence analyzer toolbar, and the help toolbar. The sender toolbar contains buttons for creating, loading, and saving sequences, and for cutting, copying, pasting and this toolbar also includes the undo and a redo button. The debug toolbar contains buttons for uh, executing the sequences, for suspending them, for terminating them, for stepping into, stepping over, stepping out or resuming all, breaking all or terminating all executions. The environment toolbar contains buttons for adapter ring control, for opening station globals, for type palettes and the test, uh, test and uh, user manager. Uh, buttons for searching and replace operations, uh, buttons for unlocking the user interface configuration to enable or disable uh, customization, customizing various aspects of the user interface in the development environment. In the next, we have the navigation toolbar, which contains the back and forward buttons, which we can use to show the previous or next view in the history view list of the sequence file or sequence hierarchy window. The help toolbar contains uh, buttons for launching the NI test and help, for specific help topics, for guide to documentation, getting started uh, the manual, uh, web resources at ni.com and the discussion forum for test and at ni.com. Next we have the sequence hierarchy toolbar which contains buttons for using the sequence hierarchy window which displays a graph of the sequence call and callback sequence relationships among sequence files and sequences to more easily visualize, navigate and maintain test sequences. Buttons like graph layout, layered diagraph, Graph direction, horizontal, expand all nodes, collapse all nodes, expand one level, collapse one level, do not allow rearranging nodes, and update from sequences. Next, we have sequence analyzer toolbar, uh, which contains buttons for analyzing a sequence file or a test and sequence analyzer project to detect errors and for configuring the sequence analyzer options. Buttons like analyze sequence file you are working on, stop all analysis, toggle analyze file before executing enabled, current sequence analyzer project and sequence analyzer options. The toolbars are fully customizable. We can create toolbars with buttons for any environment commands we want.